So the people who live in the forest are more intimately connected to the nature that they live in than we in cities are. So there are people who know a lot about, they just live there, they know every plant, every animal, they know animal movement patterns, all kinds of things which, uh, which are, uh, you know, somehow lost if that information is not transmitted to subsequent generations of, of people. So, and what often happens is that we find that in my, in the sites where I've studied, uh, where I've done research, I find that the older generation, they know a lot, right? But uh, with, uh, if you look at the younger generation, children or, you know, young people who are like in their 20s or teenagers, there is a kind of a disconnect, which I've seen, you know, they, they don't have the same uh, connect with the environment or the same feel for the environment that their, um, you know, that their parents or their grandparents had. So there is this, right, 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 right. So, so they, so, and I don't blame them because what happens is that they see the rest of the world progressing, developing in a way and having so many options which are not available to them. And so they don't care about the forest so much as their parents or their grandparents did. However, having said that, let's not also romanticize too much about, you know, people will take care of forests if it's all given to them. So this is something that we often hear that, uh, you know, people are the best guardians of forests. Humans have had, if you look at the evolutionary history of humans, there has always been a tendency for us to overexploit the environment in which we live, right? It manifest today in our cities, we've always done it. Whenever there is a possibility, whenever there is a chance, we will try to exploit and control the environment in which they live. It's just that we, whether you have the means to do it or you don't have the means to do it. So we should be looking at, in order to preserve our forests, we should be looking at, yes, people's participation is important because we have, we're talking about huge tracts of forest with and they like i said they know a lot about the forest in which they live in so participation of people is important and mainly some way of making the younger people more involved and more responsible for their environment for example if they feel the need that they don't have to run to the closest city to find employment if they can we can generate employment locally which also which it will also result in their being able to appreciate their environment and their forests better. So this is something that we need to look in. And I think increasingly uh, protected area managers realize that the, the value of involving people in protecting our forests.